For the first time, the Tesla Model Y, an all-electric vehicle, is claiming the title of the world's best-selling car. So, is the Tesla Model Y the game changer in electric vehicles? Let's find out. Buckle up, folks. This is going to be a good ride. Let's open the door. All right. As you can see, it is very minimalist. A steering wheel, two pedals, and a 15-inch touchscreen. Very simple. Nothing incredible. Oh, wait. A touch screen in a car with a lot of features? This is very exciting. Let's see what this car has to offer. Wow, yes, I'm going to test the autopilot and see how it goes. It's amazing. I can literally let the car drive for me and chill during a road trip. That's fantastic. It's going to be an indispensable tool on long and boring highway drive. Of course, we need to pay attention and maintain control of the car. Now we are in Germany. On this part of the Autobahn, there is no speed limit. I'm going to try to go as fast as possible, considering the conditions and keeping in mind there are other cars on the road, not attempting a speed test. I reached 207 km per hour, near the maximum speed of 217 km per hour. I think the car handles that kind of speed very well, but it's not something I do every day. Naturally, the power consumption has significantly increased during this test, but I'm happy to see it's possible with an electric car and they are not trying to restrict us to be the slowest on the road. As you can see, when it's raining, the car starts the wipers automatically, which is nice, but sometimes the rhythm doesn't match the rain. You have to go manually. I hope Tesla will do a software update soon to address this issue. Now that we have drained the battery, it's time to charge it. It's really easy. You can charge it at home or like here in a supercharger. All we have to do is plug the charging cable into the car's charging port, then wait for some minutes until it's done. At a supercharger, you can charge your Tesla from 25% to 80% in 25 minutes with a maximum power output of 170 kilowatts. If your Tesla model is capable of handling 250 kilowatts, the charging process can be even faster. This Tesla Model Y has LFP battery, so I can charge it regularly to 100% without significant battery degradation. What's impressive is that Tesla has figured out how to estimate the distance to the nearest supercharger by forecasting wind conditions humidity and ambient temperature to provide an estimated battery range. And what's convenient about superchargers is they are everywhere. It's a big network. So there is no need to experience battery anxiety during our trip. I know that Tesla chose to go with AMD Ryzen chip for this Model Y. You can play with the touchscreen or like here with PlayStation controllers. One is connected via Bluetooth while the other is plugged into the Glovebox USB port. It's great to see that this car comes with a few games such as this racing game. It's very funny and cool. It adds some laughter to the car experience or provides entertainment while you are stopped for a charge. The Tesla Model Y really cracks me up. The Tesla Camp Mode is an excellent feature that lets us sleep comfortably in the car. It's handy when you are on a road trip. It gives you a safe place to rest instead of driving when you are tired and risking a crash. This can be useful in many travel situations, like when you can't find a nearby campsite or hostel, or if you're traveling on a budget. When Camp Mode is activated, you can keep the fan running, set your preferred temperature, keep the lights on, play music, and charge devices. Being able to stay cool in the summer and warm in the winter is a real plus. There are so many accessories and add-ons available for the Tesla Model Y that can improve its functionality, appearance, and user experience. Here's what I recommend. First thing I do, I put on a screen protector. We are always touching the screen and I know I'd scratch it without a protector. I went for the frosted one to avoid glare and make sure I can see the screen even in bright sunlight. Then those floor mats for the driver, front and back passenger, and for the trunk and frunk. Next, those performance pedal covers for a better look. 
The central control panel sticker would protect against scratches and matches the look of the dash. This USB hub. This rear trunk seal guard cover. And those discrete mud flaps, very useful against dirt, salt and rocks. I have 3D printed some accessories such as this cup holder liner, this center console sliding tray and this center console armrest tray. However, the Tesla Model Y does have some drawbacks. While some issues can be resolved with adjustments, others are awaiting solutions through future software updates. Here are the issues that I encountered during my experience with the Model Y. First off, the paint job's a bit delicate. It can get dinged up by rock chips and other stuff on the road. You can sort that out with some PPF or a touch-up paint kit. Secondly, even though this Tesla Model Y has the new comfort suspension, the shock absorbers aren't preventing vibrations. But you can fix that by dropping the PSI from 42 to 38. Then there are those issues that I hope will get sorted out with future software updates. The phantom braking while in autopilot. Sometimes the car just hit the brakes for no apparent reason. The speed limit accuracy. It's often way slower than the actual speed limit. Looks like the speed limit stored in the map database is sometimes outdated. The automatic wipers are a cool feature, but sometimes they start wiping when there is not a drop of water on the windshield. So, is the Tesla Model Y the game changer in electric vehicles? It depends on the individual's preferences and needs. For those who value cutting-edge technology, effortless charging and high performance, the Model Y could be a great fit. However, those who prefer a more comfortable ride or lower price points might find other EVs more suitable. Hope you found this video informative and useful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. See you soon. Peace.